Hello everyone, I'm Zishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive YouTube channel, your own training institute. So we'll start with our next lesson here and we'll learn how we can do some rendering if we have in our like a like a mesh or an object that is created in some other application like in Maya or 3D Studio Max or Blender and it's brought and then it's imported inside Subset Designer and these all materials have uh, has been applied on it. So this is not a single uh, Subset Designer mat uh, like material which you see from here. Okay, it's not like that. It is the one that we have created in some software or, and brought it here. So it just got reset. Let's bring it back here. Yeah. Because I, I think by uh, when I moved here, I just pressed cylinder there. So I have to reset it now. Don't worry. We'll just load now. Okay, so it's loaded. Just I have to go here, view output in 3D viewport. And then I have to go to the locker and do these changes. Okay, it's already there. Now, what I need to do here is that, oh, like, uh, one more thing I did is that I have imported some HDRIs in the resources folder. I made in another folder called HDRI, and I dragged and dropped it these from uh, one of my folders. These I got uh, these HDRIs I got it from H, uh, this website HDRI Heaven from Indoor. It's like some of these I saved it on my computer, okay, and then simply I just dragged and dropped it them from the folder directly here. Now, if you want to see how your result uh, will look like, so I will undock it, okay, so it uh, it will look a little bigger. And I will make it a little smaller, the screen. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is that I will go to my environment and edit here and turn on the, like, a uh, like make it visible okay so this is what i'm using right now and this is how the colors are you can see that now this is uh reacting with my colors what i want is that let's try a different one i have here auto service i'll drag it here see how it looks like and once you will drag it it will ask you where you want to show it so i want to show it in the latitude longitude uh black panorama now this is how it will look like Okay, if I press Control and Shift, and with the right mouse button, I can rotate it just to see how the result will be. Okay, and then I have this here, which is Christmas uh, house or something like that. So it will give me this. Okay. And then I have this one, industrial pipe. And this is how it will look like. So let's see what which one looks much more better and we can use that. I like that the result of this one. This looks this is this looks quite interesting. Okay, 
so we can use this as as a color here so i think i'll go with this environment map do i like the the, the first one also i like this one as well okay but more i like this this so looks nicer what we need to do here is that we have to turn on our uh IRA. and once i'll do that you will notice things are becoming a little realistic here okay but i have to go back to my environment and edit here and one thing i need to do is to add a ground here okay and before adding the ground i need to go to the dome type and change it to sphere with ground okay and then i have to turn on my ground from here so i can have a ground level here so you can see things are getting now much more better now there are some issues here obviously you will find them. okay just notice how weirdly they are uh, shaped up okay because if i will go to uh renderer here okay sorry uh material here locker here edit here i do have scale i do have scale scalar zero value but i don't have the uh iteration for my uh like tessellation so there is no tessellation here so how i can get the tessellation when i'm using the renderer of uh, iray so if you're using iray as we have discussed this in our chapter four it's in the dis uh, scene but here it will be a little different if i'll go to the scene and if i'll click on edit you will notice that i have all these panels here these elements here that i'm using my top is different my left right back bottom everything is different because these are different parts okay so this part is the log gauge so if i will go to the log gauge i have two one is for the left side other one is for the right side okay so same for the uh for the uh, lock first let's try the lock here so i have lock one which is the front side lock two which is the back side so i'll go to the lock and here you have instead of tessellation method and the method that we are going to use is the parametric method and just like parametric method we have numbers here and it will work like tessellation so as you will increase the numbers it will get better and better right now it is one let's increase it to five if i'll increase it to five you can see got its shape back okay now this is the lock front side now back side is left so i can go to the back side here do the same thing in the method choose parametric and number i will increase it to five now five is quite high okay so if your computer is a little slower so you can make it three or four okay have this now this issue i have it here like a line so this is basically uh you can fix with the lev like the levels where we were fixing that so if you will get time we can fix that but it's not a big issue you can just go there fix it because what it is doing is that uh the uh, like the blending uh here is a kind of increased okay like the, the sorry the albedo here is is more cr like crawling towards the card part so that card part is sh still showing that's the issue and that can be easily solved with the uh like levels okay and if you know if you know in the previous lessons we were fixing that so same way you can do it now we'll go one by one to all of this I have to zoom out so we can see what's going wrong. Top part method parametric five. 
close it front method parametric five so as i told you before five is a quite higher value so if your computer is a little slower you can decrease it you don't need five maybe three or two or maybe if your computer is uh is is uh, is new really good then maybe you can increase more than five but i think five is good enough so let's keep on saving Okay, so bottom is not showing that much, okay, because it's right underneath. So instead of, okay, so here what I'm going to do is that uh, for the back side, because back will be not showing that much. So the iteration uh, for the back, I will keep it as it is. Okay, I will be not changing anything here on the back side. Okay even for the left and right i think if i will go here back to left and right instead of five i will make it two because it will be too high front obviously i need it more because i have vents and i have this plate so for detail of this uh, and some other parts are there so for that i need to keep it as it is And button, I don't want to change anything here in the method. I'll keep it as a handle. Yeah, I need to change parametric five. Handle two, also parametric five. And lock already, we have changed it. So we have to let's do the lock. Yeah, lock two and one is changed. So lock dodge parametric five oops okay and log watch here parametric So we are done with this part. So what we can do is that we can nicely make our arrangement here like the way we want it. Okay. If you want, you can remove the the background from it. Okay, I can go to environment, edit. And I don't want to use this uh component uh, here so I will it false okay instead what I will do is that I will use a background color here so let's change the background color let's see where we can color here so I guess we have to move to camera and then camera edit okay camera edit and then here we have the clear color this is we can this color we can change it to whatever we want little bit darker okay or maybe you can make it more fun loving color or grayish whatever you want and
any post effect you want so you can add it just like what we did in the chapter number four here what i needed what i want more is to put a uh like reflection on the ground so i can go to the environment edit okay and here we can add a reflectivity on the ground so as if you will make it uh if if it is 100 percent white so it will be too reflective okay it will be like a mirror it's on a mirror or something like that but if you reduce it it will be less like more blacker black means no reflection uh, no reflection white means 100 percent reflection in between that like gray shade will allow you to control the reflection amount i will keep it a little lower glossiness i can increase or decrease shadow intensity i can increase or decrease it's uh, totally up to you what you want to do it here okay ground is on the same level here okay so glossiness i can move you can move the ground you know up or down but my object is right on the ground so i don't have to worry about that okay i can reduce the glossiness of my object then i can go to the render edit i can increase my minimum samples or maximum samples if you want to make it more uh like i would like a high quality or you want to increase the quality of it so totally up to you you can add a uh, like a blur amount to it uh from the camera okay now you can add its uh blur okay like a aperture we can increase it a little bit more and then if you uh if you will see that it's uh it's not in focus at all so to automatically create a focal point you have to press alt on your keyboard and click on that focal point i think if i will click it here with the control key on my keyboard so this will get in focus and rest everything will be out of focus okay so this is how you can do the adjustment here and the aperture focal like distance will be calculated from the uh, like through that and you can move around see what part looks better okay what doesn't look better it's totally up to you you can make some close-up shots if you want and there your uh, focal distance with of uh, your your depth of field will work more like was here if i press control on my keyboard click on this nameplate this nameplate will be more uh, in focus and rest of the items will not be in focus but this kind of effect you can do that maybe you can reduce the aperture here if you want So let's wait for it. Okay, so we got this image here, so you can you can save it, okay, the way the way you want it to be like saved, or whatever angle you want to keep it. So I hope you have learned something out of this lesson, and hopefully next class, uh, next lesson will be uh, will be our last lesson where we will learn how we can export it to any external application like Maya or uh, Blender or uh, Unreal Engine or anything that you feel like, well, uh, like any software that you more work on. So you can use that for your, uh, like, like a main, like main tool. Okay. So uh, I hope you have learned something out of this lesson and you have, and you have enjoyed it. So thanks a lot everyone for joining this lesson i'm really thankful to you all for supporting me and i hope to receive your support continuously i have noticed that many of you are watching my videos but not have subscribed to my channel yet so please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications about the new 
great new contents which i will be uploading soon if you have liked my video so please hit the like button and if you have any queries or questions then leave them in the comment section below and i will answer them as soon as possible and one request i have and that is i have noticed that some of the viewers do not watch my videos online and instead they download them so please if anyone is doing that and you find someone doing this then please stop them because this will never help me to get my hard work paid off and it will demotivate me so i don't want to stop making tutorials for you all therefore help me get new subscriber i will take off now everyone Take care guys till we meet in the next class. Stay safe, stay healthy and keep learning on Z Interactive, your own training institute. There is one important announcement I would like to make. I have started three great membership plans on my channel. I have introduced ZDI Friends membership plan, which will give you exciting perks like loyalty badges and priority on comments. I have also introduced ZDI Early Bird plan, which will give access to Z Interactive tutorials way early before they become public. So you will get all these lessons at once and you can binge watch them. Last but not the least, I have introduced ZDI Premium Plan which will give access to advanced professional tutorials which you will find it very very expensive outside and I will be giving this at a very low amount of price. So visit my channel now and click on the join membership to get more information. I hope you become one of my members. If you want to learn how to create a highly detailed prop procedurally using Substance Designer, so this premium tutorial series is for you. Join my premium membership plan on YouTube and get access to all premium tutorials. In this tutorial series, I will demonstrate how to use Substance Designer along with simple geometry to create a realistic smashed up retro television.